Reusing Coco Core. Can you? Should you? I'll let you know. This is a uh, auto pot uh, system. It is the XL. The individual pots are about 6.6 .6 gallons. And so when you fill that up with Coco Core, you're thinking that, uh, you know, I could probably reuse that. And since you're feeding it from a reservoir that has nutrients from hydroponics, they wick up from the bottom. And you think that Coco Core is fairly inert. So when you replant that, guess what happens? Well, I found out. If you look at the health of these individual plants, you're going to find out that on the uh, cucumbers, the leaves were not looking all that great. And I was curious what happened. What I found out was that if you're going to use coco core and reuse it, there are some things to consider. One, it saves time, it saves labor, it saves money, but there are some steps that you have to take. Um, so one of the biggest things about using coco core is that it's a renewable resource, unlike peat moss, and it's actually healthier for the environment. Now, the other thing is that the cocoa is oftentimes mixed with perlite. The perlite is not that big a deal, but if you were to look inside the uh, containers, you're going to find out that the cocoa fibers contain what is it called an anion. Now, anion sounds like a fancy uh, nuclear science uh, term, but it is basically uh, meaning that there are more electrons than protons, and it has the ability to bind with nutrients. Now, the flip side, there are something called cations. It's like, wow, you know, whatever. What is it? What is a cation, you know, but you don't have to worry about that uh, too much. It's primarily anion. If I were to look at this material, what I'm going to notice is that I can't see anything unusual about it. However, uh, the nutrients are binding to the cocoa fibers uh, that are in the containers. And in order to grow plants successfully and reuse your cocoa core, what you'll want to do is soak this in a um, water that is fairly inert in terms of it doesn't have a lot of other things in it. And what comes to mind immediately is distilled waters. And that's exactly what you want to do. If you take the distilled water and you soak all of your media into it, it's going to help break free uh, the nutrient binding that is uh, attached to those cocoa fibers. That will provide you a healthier plant. Now, just to let you know, uh, the plant that is on the other side, this tomato plant, is doing much better. This is an example because a particular container has fresh cocoa corn perlite in it, whereas this one does not. Is it uh, that big a deal? Yeah, it sure is, because what happens is the nutrients that are bound to the cocoa fiber core has nutrients, a reservoir has nutrients, and so when they come together, guess what? You have more nutrients than what you need, more salts than what you need, and the plants suffer. So if you want to spend all that time on a setup with grow lights, electricity, a system, don't blow it. Make sure that uh, you have everything the way that you need it to grow. I would suggest, since it's a renewable resource, why not put it outside on your uh, outdoor garden and put new media inside of these containers. However, if you do want to reuse these containers and you're in a situation perhaps where you're in an urban environment, make sure that you uh, go through those steps I mentioned. And in addition to things such as distilled water, there are products out there like Synzyme that you could add to the distilled water that will further break down and condition the cocoa for reuse. So that's my tip for the day.